so if there's one wallet that I have always wanted since I've seen it and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it but I just couldn't justify the cost and I, I said look if I buy this wallet that's it I'm done there's no more wallets I know that's a lie and it's never gonna happen right but that was my selling point and I finally decided to bite the bullet and get it and I wanted to review it for you today and the wallet that I'm talking about today is another one by one and only Bellroy and this is the Bellroy Apex Note Sleeve. Stay tuned. Okay, let's get rid of the box. Uh, the box is very typical of Bellroy's cardboard boxes. Nothing uh, too exciting. So the wallet itself, well, as you can see, it is preformed. Um, it's almost like you've had a, a wallet for a few years now and it's formed itself uh, around the cards, which I um, actually like at first, uh, at my first impression. Um, so what they've done here is to keep it as slim as possible is they've basically joined the layers of leather using heat bonding and just, you know, rather than uh, stitching, which I'll show you in the original note sleeve. Um, and it's got a snappy magnetic closure. So let's have a look at that. That is pretty satisfying. Um, once you open it, so you gotta give it a bit of a squeeze and if you haven't seen some of the uh, slim sleeve uh, videos, there's not too many of these that I've seen around, but give it a bit of a squeeze, it pops open. You open that up, you got the two tone. So this one here was the uh, onyx color. Uh, which must be another fancy word for black or charcoal black color uh, with this tan brown inside, which I quite like the contrast. Um, so back to the wallet itself. Um, the idea here is that you've, you've got this um, heat bonded material. So the cards are almost uh, preformed to your credit cards, even though you haven't used it yet. You've got the two quick draw card slots, um, which is this one here. So there's one there and one in here with the Bellroy note sleeve, 10 cards, flat bills, eco tan leather, getting a bit tight, stroke here. Actually, let's have a look at the specs. I mean, high strength pull tab, magnetic closure for a neat seal and heat bonded leather for stitching ending to create an elevated look and feel. Front two slots allow fast access to your main cards while space beyond the lets you car, keep your cards together, blah, blah, blah. 3D formed leather, so it comfortably takes your cards like a worn in favorite while keeping it crisp and striking aesthetic. Uh, two box storage, pull tab for access, interna uh, fits international currencies. Well, I guess that's all pretty good. Um, they do come with a three year warranty, Bellroy. It does hold six to 10 cards and uh, you know, six to 10, there's a big discrepancy there. Um, and reason being is that, you know, if you take cards that have got uh, printing on them uh, and they're embossed uh, versus flat, that's why, but nevertheless, let's do a bit of a test drive. Um, actually, before I do that, one thing that I've noticed already is that the leather, uh, I'm not too sure if you can see, uh, if I just, uh, just a lot of it, the leather is very thin. I mean, this is so thin that almost looks like if I put a card and move it uh, left to right too hard, it's gonna rip the leather. Now this is a premium wallet. I paid top dollar for this. Um, I would have liked it to be perhaps a little bit thicker uh, leather. And this is again my first impression. Um, yeah, I don't know. Doesn't feel like it's gonna last as long as some of the other Bellroy wallets. You can see where it's uh, stitched on the inside here as well. So it's all folded, the leather's folded over and well, it's not stitched actually, I take that back, it's glued. Um, and it goes from one end to the other. And likewise here, the leather's folded and it's glued to this back, whatever material that is. And you've got the front Balroy 
uh, embossed logo there, which is quite neat. Color looks good, noise is great. I just don't know. Actually, let's have a look at um, the original note sleeve. Is that any thicker? It is. I suppose that they've got to make this a bit thinner because there is no stitches, but that's very, very thin. This one here does have a bit more bulk to it. I think it's because it's got the lining. So this has got just the uh, just the pure just the leather versus here you've got the leather which is stitched on to the backing of that fabric as well. Um, size wise, well, the apex is bigger, and that's due to the fact that you've got to fit the cards and then the magnets go around it. So it's not the same. Look wise, I mean. You know, horses for courses. Um, because this is already formed, it does look, to me, nicer. You know, I've got a lot of, you know, fold, here's the Balleroy Mini, for example. Um, they all tend to open like a bifold uh, with a pull tab. This is one that I've had my eye on for a very, very long time, and I've been itching to get it and the cost has been the biggest prohibitor and I did pay for this. It's, this is not sponsored, it's not, you know, donated by any means, I paid for it with my hard earned cash. Let's load it up and see what it looks like. So it says you can do six or 10 cards, three, six, 10. Let's try now, these are all uh, cards that are not printed, uh, just blank cards. So we've got quick access over here. Ah, see so that's nothing. I don't know how I feel about that thin leather that goes right to the edge and how long that's gonna last, but hey, I'll be optimistic. Then you've got the other quick access card. So we've got the two quick access cards in there. Hmm. It stops there. I was gonna say it's not very aesthetic, but it's because this leather is cut and it goes down the top, I suppose for the axis of the notes. Anyway, you got the two quick access here. Let's chuck in another three in the back in there oh you bugger so we've got three at the back four five i'll do another four here behind the pull tab for a total of nine so we've got nine in there and they just put one note here's a 20 Australian dollars and huh. so that's nine cards, um, nine embossed, nine cards, one note and it closes pretty well. Yeah, it's got a bit of a bit of a gap here as you can see but it's not the end of the world, it's still sealed pretty well. Um, I must say, let me do this smell test. Oh, it smells good, like most Bellroy wallets. Uh, and if you've seen a lot of my videos, you know I'm a big Bellroy fan. They are pretty good quality, most of them, not all. Um, nice finish, so looks nice. Probably a little bit more bulkier than I'm used to. I mean, here's my slim sleeve. It is, you know, I, I did consider getting the Apex uh, the slim sleeve, um, but because I've already got this one, Granted, I've got the note sleeve as well. And I do like to carry cash at times. I thought this would be good. So again, squeeze, open that up. Here's a quick access card. Back it goes again. Nice snap closed. And I do like that contrast stitching there that you can see at the top. Um, I reckon I can jam in another one, but let's test the tab. So you pull the tab, out come your archive of cards. You know what, not bad. I'm just curious how Maybe I need to do a video six months from now after usage to see how it survives the daily bump and grind because, see this is quite hard, hard where it's been glued, which is fine, no problem there. But the leather, it all seems very, very thin. It's almost like you, you've added a th very thin piece of leather on top of a hardened material. I don't want to over process it and talk myself out of it, but I'm going to give it a good crack. 
So I hope that review has been helpful. I hope that, um, you know, if this is a wallet that you've been looking at. Um, it's something that you would consider. Uh, you know, it does have a few, what is that? I just noticed that. I think it's where the leather's bonded, but I'm not sure if you can see this here. Um, just, focus camera, not on me. Just here, there are these two little bumps. Uh, yeah, I think maybe that's just where the leather's bonded. Anyway, I'm just being fussy as, as always, but um, yeah, this is the wallet that I wanted. After using, I've used a, a slim style wallet now for a long time, and I got so used to it, and the last one that's been is the Bellroy Slim Sleeve. I'm so used to sort of ha having it in my hand, quite small, that moving to this type of a wallet takes me back a little bit. Uh, it's something that I'm gonna have to get used to, but I'm gonna give it a, give it a good try. Um, I have used the Node Sleeve before, and that was good, but boring at times. I've also used the um, hide and seek, which again, it's a little bit different, um, has its own purpose. But this one here, I don't know, there's something about this snap. It's quite satisfying. Probably not as, ah, I like it. See, Sasha's has to give it himself too. It is a bit big. I think that's what's putting me off slightly. And I'm thinking maybe I should have got the Apex, the slim sleeve, but Whatever, maybe I'll add that one to the collection and then I'll have them all. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you like uh, to see the next one, please like and subscribe. It helps me with my ratings. I don't get paid. Um, this is something that I do out of enjoyment and I'm hoping that I'm helping you, my viewers out there. Um, and click the bell icon, you'll be notified when I release another video. My name is Sash and this is SD Reviews. Goodbye.